is social accountability campaigner when Jerry Konyo are economists for Horan Doho. Keep it here for that. Sweeping reforms await the education sector with President William Ruto's focus shifting to the ongoing implementation of competency-based curriculum. Just like he promised in his campaigns, the president says he plans to set up an education reforms task force which will spearhead conversations around CBC while strictly respecting public participation laws and rules. Shadrach Miti reports. Just as the country witnessed a political and leadership transition, the same would be said of the education sector, which for the past five years has been undergoing serious transformation. Grade 6 learners, which is the pioneer class for the competency-based curriculum, is set to sit the national summative exit exam in November, ahead of joining junior secondary early next year. And with the Minister of Education still struggling with the modalities of managing double transition next year, it did not escape President William Ruto's maiden speech. I will establish an education reform task force in the presidency, which will be launched in the coming weeks. It will collect views from all players in line with the constitutional demand of public participation. However, with the future of CBC under Kenya Kwanza government not yet clear, it is now emerging that views to be collected through public participation will inform the government's position on the new education system. With all indications pointing to the willingness by the government to adopt public views on the future of CBC, it is now evident that whether or not the country will revert to 844 will be a consequence of the recommendations by parents, teachers and other stakeholders during public participation and hearing. CBC was built as one of key President Uhuru Kenyatta's legacy projects. There are about 10 million learners already enrolled in the program, with the pioneer class of grade 6, comprising of 1.3 million learners, set to sit their summative exam in November, ahead of them joining junior secondary in January next year. Opinion is still divided on whether it should be scrapped or not. Those against it say it is burdensome and that its rollout was hurried without adequate public participation. Those in support of it, however, say it only needs to be reviewed for the sake of millions of learners already undertaking it. Under the CBC, learners in grade 4, 5 and 6 will undertake a blend of formative and summative assessments. They are already doing the formative assessment and grade 6 learners are set to sit their first summative assessment in November. In preparations for junior secondary rollout, the Ministry of Education has been constructing 10,000 new classrooms aimed at managing the burden of double transition. And we are particularly alive to the anxieties of parents on the twin transition of the last 844 class and the first CBC class in January next year. I assure all that there will be a solution to the matter before then. Yet, even by promising to roll out a national conversation on CBC, President William Ruto has not categorically said he will scrap CBC, but maintains the curriculum must be reviewed. That we all agree that our education should move in the direction of not just knowledge and exams, it should move in the direction of knowledge, skills, competencies, and value-based education. We all agree that that is the direction. We also agree that five years down the road, it's time to review in accordance with uh, UNESCO recommendations, the CBC program, so that the issues that have been identified by teachers, by parents, by students, and other stakeholders uh, can be subjected to a robust public conversation. Shadrach Miti, KT News. Thank you very much, Shadrach. Keep it here for more coming up. Like I said, part two of Newsline and Kivumbi 2022 tonight is a conversation looking into the president's speech and 